The traffic problem in the metro has worsened and there hasn't been enough solutions to mend the issues. According to Angtas, during their presentation at the Roads and Traffic Expo, the solution can only come from the collective effort of several groups, from both the government and the private sector, who work together to come up with a workable, feasible traffic plan. Angkas, the first app-based motorcycle ride hailing service in the country, participated in the expo to discuss sustainable solutions that address the traffic congestion problem in the Philippines. Angkas Chief Transport Advocate, George Royeka, during his talk at the recent Roads and Traffic Expo, emphasized the importance of collaboration between the public and private sector in providing better transport options. What we realize is we're not, it's not Angkas versus the government. Eh. What we realize that we were both coming from two different perspectives, pero with trying to achieve one goal, um, which is really to you know, lessen the traffic woes of its commuters or of its people. Metro Manila traffic, EDSA traffic, is everybody's fault. Okay, it's the fault of the private motorists, it's the fault of the public utility vehicles. Lahat po tayo may kasalanan dyan. Hindi po yan fault ng motorcyclo kasi pagewang-gewang siya dun sa misplaced na motorcycle lane. Hindi yan fault ng bus kasi he takes up two lanes on the side at tumitigil sa sakit na ng daan. Hindi rin yan fault ng uh, private motorist na ini-insist na pumunta dun sa bus lane all the time kahit may enforcer sa harap. Ngayon sabay mo pa ng scooter na nasa side na. It's everyone's fault. And the only way to fix this if everybody works together. Ang CAS, which is currently on a government-sanctioned pilot run, has become a case study for the successful partnership between a private enterprise and government agencies. In June 2019, Angkas was granted by the DOTR a six-month trial run that legally allowed the service to operate in Metro Manila and Metro Cebu. All 27,000 biker partners were swiftly trained on new safety protocols to comply with the mandated requirements of the DOTR Technical Working Group. Angeline Tham, the CEO and founder of Angkas, joined the second day of the trade show to talk about the role of safe and inclusive mobility options in building more sustainable cities. Angkas Chief Transport Advocate George Royeka stressed that they will continue to work with all stakeholders involved. 